Hey everybody, what's up? This is Chris Williams, keynote speaker and thought leader on workplace culture. And what I would like to do today is to share with you a really great uh, episode that we shot talking about compound interest and how it's more than money. I hope it inspires you. I hope it's something that you find of a value add. Listen, no matter what we share, no matter what we create, I really would appreciate it if you would take the time to leave us a like, leave us a comment, or share this with somebody. It helps us to know that we're providing you content and value, and at the same time, we're able to share uh, interesting thoughts and ideas and ways to push and move people forward. So we really appreciate Appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Hope you enjoy the episode. Hey, Chris Williams here, and we're back this year's 2017. And I thought I would like to start out this year by saying Happy New Year to all of you. We're gonna have an incredible ride. We're gonna learn some great new things. And I thought this year I would start out with a very simple mathematic equation that we all know and love. I'm talking about compound interest. I'm talking about compound interest. Compound interest. I'm talking about compound interest. Yeah, you know that thing that you hear about a lot that you remember growing up in school where they taught you how compound interest actually works. Well, today I wanna give you just a little bit of insight on how compound interest is more than just money. So let's all go back to a very basic, simple understanding of what compound interest is. So do you remember this formula? Um, you might remember talking about compound interest. And so for this example, let's talk about $10,000. We'll just start there, okay? Man, if I had 10,000 followers, 10,000 likes, 10,000 pieces of sweet potato pie, whatever it is that you have, we're gonna start with $10,000 uh, of money. So let's just say that you have $10,000 in an account. And as we know, let's say that account has 5% interest, which basically means that if you have $10,000 and they gave you 5% on that for an entire year, that means that it would be $500 added on top of your $10,000. So that would mean that you have $10,500. Simple enough, right? So in year two, that means you start out with $10,500. And if you had 5% of that that they were going to give you, that means you would have $525. So that means you'd have a grand total at the end of year to $11,025. And let's just say year three, you start out with that same $11,025. And if there was 5% on that, that means that you would have $551.25. At the end of year three, Three, as you would see, you would have $11,576.25. Very interesting, right? So if it's easy to understand this, then here's something that I want you to think about for your own personal life. The truth is, is that compound interest works in more ways than just for money. Compound interest can also work in the ways of our lives that sometimes we don't even think about until it's too late. Let me give you a good example. Let's just say uh, as a child, as you grew up, mom and dad always worried a lot. They worried about the bills. They worried about how they were gonna get them paid. They worried about having enough, not having enough. They worried about lack. And all you did was grow up understanding worry. Well, worry, unfortunately, by the time you become a teenager and into your mid twenties turned into anxiety. You're always feeling the worry, you feel the stress, you feel the unknown and how that burdens you down. And then all of a sudden it leads you to something called fear. With fear now taking over in your life, it can impact your relationships, it impacts your career, it impacts you individually. And the reason is, is because it started out with just watching worry and then you begin to partake into anxiety, which now led to fear. Let's take another example of how this can also apply to our lives. Let's all say we've experienced ignorance at one point in time. I know there are many things that I'm ignorant about, things that I just don't know. And ignorance truthfully is just a simple understanding of a lack of information of something. But let's say that lack of information turns into insecurity. And over time, you begin to be insecure about what you don't know. And so what do you do as a result? Most of us, we become defensive. 
We become defensive about every single thing that we don't know or don't understand or things that we assume we know to understand. And then unfortunately, we begin to attack. We attack the ones closest to us. We attack the ones that we don't know. And thus, it breeds things like racism. On the same token as you can have things over time grow into something else on the negative side, it also works on the positive side as well. Just think, if you took the time to actually focus on being inspired throughout your day, throughout your weeks, even as a child, if you have your child and you ensure that you're inspiring them to think big and to go beyond a set of limitations maybe that they've come into, then you might actually grow a child or yourself into an optimistic state. You might become very optimistic and, and, and hopeful about tomorrow, about the job, the career that you're on, about the path as an entrepreneurship that you've taken. You become hopeful about the decisions that you know you need to make, even though they might be tough. But that also helps us do something that many of us don't partake in, which is learning how to just be happy. And so what am I really getting at here? In the same way that compound interest works for our money, we have to understand that compound interest also works in our emotion levels and where we focus in our emotions and more importantly, the outcomes of those emotions as well. Basically, whatever we show interest in also creates growth in our lives. So my question to you today is, where are you putting interest? What emotions and thoughts and feelings are you compounding over time that are creating things like fear, doubt, racism, uh, all the different things that we feel? You have to understand that the same principle of compound interest in money works just the same when it comes to our, our life, our mentality, and the way we approach others. So what I want you to do today is to truly think about and really spend some time focusing on where am I compounding my personal interest? Where am I internalizing certain things that might be negative, that might be not true? Where am I internal, internalizing things that are a lack of information that I just have? How am I breeding the current outcomes that I have? And what you want to be able to do is uh, take an opportunity to really sit down and focus and concentrate. Quiet everything out of the world and spend some time really focusing on you. If you want a better 2017, it's gonna start really getting down to the root of your current outcomes. So I wanna give you three things that you can do in order to compound interest for the right type of growth. The first thing you can do to compound the interest and grow in the right directions is to first just realize where you are today. Are you feeling fear? Do you have doubt in certain areas? Are you afraid of 2017? Are you afraid of a big decision that you have to have? Write down those actual feelings. Take time to understand what is that doing to you and how is that actually creating certain types of outcomes? Are you isolating yourself? Are you deflecting away from certain conversations? Whatever those outcomes are, and if you know you want them to change, let's get down on paper what that current state is. Number two, once you write those things down and you understand where you are, start to trace back to what events, circumstances, situations, people are causing you to feel those certain things and then figure out why. You wanna write those next to exactly how you feel. So if you feel fear, you wanna write next to it, write down what circumstances, places and events am I starting to feel that fear? Where is it the greatest? Where do I not feel it so much? Once you're able to write those two things down, then you can be able to identify what you need to be able to do. Once you're able to identify where it's coming from, then you can take the third step. The third and final step is to then to begin to do just like you would do with your money. If you know that your money is growing or not growing in a particular area that you don't want, you just shift the focus of that money. Well, I want you to shift the focus into better growth areas that you want. So if you know you're feeling afraid, I want you to be able to decrease those opportunities and spend more time investing and putting interest in into things that are gonna give you not just courage and the will to act, 
but give you the optimism that you need. If you're feeling uh, a state of defensiveness and maybe you're knowing that you're insecure in a couple of areas, start to put time and invest time and interest into gaining all the knowledge that you need so that you can begin to feel more confident. Wherever those areas are, I think it's really, really important for us to really just spend some time to focus and really truthfully say that we've put in the work in order to shift our focus. The moment we can do that, we can have compound interest, but we can ensure that the return on that investment is going to be something that we're proud of. Hey, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to me and watch this video. I would really, really appreciate it if you'd give this video a thumbs up, if you give it a like, if you give it a share, even if you would leave a comment. It helps me to know that we are inspiring you in this new year in 2017, and more importantly, that we're providing added value and giving you content that you can use to move forward in your daily life. My name is Chris Williams. I thank you so much for your time, and I hope that you make forward progress the most important part to your day. Take care. Peace. Hey, did you enjoy that episode? If you did, I would personally appreciate it if you would do one of three things. Would you give us a like? Would you leave a comment and or share it? Or feel free to do all three, no matter which one. We want you to choose at least one. But please, this would be something that is definitely a value add to me. That lets us know, number one, are we providing you the type of content that you want to know? Uh, number two, is it a value add to you? Is it something that you feel not only helps you, but it's also something that you could share with your friends. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Until we talk again, I hope that you make forward progress the most important part to your day. Take care.